Hi, this is Misty Johnson from the Zanesville Museum of Art and welcome to another material exploration with Misty. Today we're going to be painting with washable markers. So all you need for this activity is just regular old washable markers, a little bit of water, and a paintbrush. And you'll also need some paper. So, um, Watercolor paper works the best because it's thick and it's made to get wet. So if you use thinner paper, if you put a lot of water on it, you can rub holes in it. So um, yeah, watercolor paper works the best for this activity. So the first thing you wanna do is you just want to kind of plan out your painting. So if I was gonna do another landscape like this, I would just start out and make my hills or mountains. Get some green here. And maybe put a little road down the middle. Kind of like a winding path. But you just draw whatever you want on your paper with your markers and just kind of uh, plan out where you want the different colors to be. So here is one that I started earlier where I have drawn a basket of fruit and you can kind of see um, the different areas. I just put a little bit of color where I want those colors to be in the final painting. So it's I'm not coloring it in like a like solid color because that's what the painting part will do. So once you have your painting plan out, then all you're gonna do is take some water and your paintbrush and you're gonna start adding water to your marker. And you see it spreads out real nice, almost like watercolor. And if you have some paper towels, you can clean off your brush in between colors but you just keep adding the water wherever you want to fill in. And like I said, it just makes a really nice, almost like watercolor effect. There you go. So I'm gonna just keep working on this, but I'm gonna speed the camera up a little bit so that you can kind of see how it works. So there you can see the finished piece with just using, just adding water to the marker on your paper. Now another fun thing you can do is if you have a marker that's completely dry, you can soak it in water for a little bit. And this is another way that you can use markers to paint. So don't throw away your, your dead markers anymore. Let's give ourselves a little table there. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you next time on Material Explorations with Misty.